showing this Natasha and the mail just came and I busted open a box thinking it was for the ATC swap and lo and behold it's nifty gifty and look at a beautiful card it's from Peggy now Peggy is Scrappy Girl 18 on YouTube. She had uh, won two. Oh, sorry about my inky fingers. She had won two of my random uh, giveaways recently, and apparently has been storing away like a good little squirrel. Uh, all sorts of gifties for me in a box, and they arrived today. And not that I was having a bad day, but it certainly brightened my day. Thank you so much. And this card is beautiful. Is this the conservatory paper? And this seems like it was not cut with, I don't know, is this Cricut or Slice Cuts? Very, very clean edges. I always notice that kind of stuff. So very pretty card, handcrafted by. You've got mail in the outside of the box. Ooh, ooh focus. Thank you. Uh, the outside of the box says you've got mail as well, but I'm not going to show you that because um, I want to protect the innocence. I'm going to take everything out of the box and put that aside. I'm going to show you all the fabulous goodies that are in here. Am I hitting the camera? It's like a, a dork fest for me. So that's going in the recycler. And at the bottom of the box, and it was um, everything was packaged immaculately. Nothing shifted. There was some craft paper that was inside, scrum, uh, crunched up to prevent it. And at the bottom, there was this fabulous craft sheets. I know many of you who are not new to my channel know my my adoration for craft paper. There's something very cool about it to me. I just, I don't know. I think it's the utilitarian in me. I just love it. So, and it's really nice thickness. Listen, it's almost like it's thin chipboard, but it looks like it has fibers in it. Really cool. You'll have to share with us, Peggy, where you got this because I love this. So that's going right into my, I have a little stand-up uh, organizer on this side of my desk. And I keep craft base, uh, card bases there and envelopes and little pieces, leftovers that I just grab and use. Um, and that's where if they're going into their own little compartment already there see now the next time I go to reach for to make a card that's what I'm gonna use so she has a couple of things that are wrapped which I have not opened yet and then I'll show you uh, the other stuff so here's our beautiful card so you can see that in the background a really cool tissue paper I think she sent me some tags that she made Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at all the stamping. Really cool. I think she doubled up, yep, for the thickness of the um, tag. And she has an eight, um, a ticket that she's uh, kept separately. I want to know what that image is. Is this a stamp or was this printed paper? Really cool. It looks like a... Um, Parisian streets, little side streets, and uh, Eiffel Tower, and um, postmarks. I think this might be um, Tim Holtz stamps. I don't have, I might be the only one left uh, in the crafting community who has absolutely no Tim Holtz stamps. Um, I always mean to pick them up, but I just never do. I think it's because I have so many other stamps that and do you see I'm pulling my mother she does this every time we give her a gift she does let me just save this paper and grant you I'm making her sound like a frail old woman she's not she's always been that way like she's always saved papers <laughs> that's why one year she gave us um, she wrapped our Hanukkah presents in Kwanzaa paper I looked at her and I said mom did you not notice that Santa was African American? She goes, oh, I decided he was tan. She's so funny. Oh, beautiful. Listen to your heart. See, I love shiny, shimmery things. And look at all that glimmering stickles everywhere. Beautiful little organza ribbons. Very pretty. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. Everything's moving very slowly on my camera. Hopefully it's not all 
Why is it half speed? I don't know what's going on today. Maybe it's tired. Maybe I've made too many videos today. But I really like this tissue paper. So I will recycle or repurpose it in another way. Alright, I think it's back to normal. My camera, I mean. Oh, yeah, I just need to just open that, right? Oh, very cool. Oh, look at the little key. How cute. Love this grapes. These are lovely. See, now I have a collection of tags from Peggy. Really pretty. I have to find a way to display all the lovely goodies that I receive um, from Swap at Swaps and it's gifts. So I'm gonna save this and stay tuned. There'll be I'll make something with this. Oh, I have some ideas already. I have some black gesso that might be put to work. So beautiful tags. And then this little glassine envelope is decorated which I, with what I think is conservatory paper and some stamping. It's really, really well done. And some washi tape. I I recognize it because I have a roll of it. <laughs> really cool. Let's see what's inside. Oh, she made some little tags. Or little tickets. That's really cool. Love that little image. Uh, hopefully my camera's focusing. You, um, Piggy will have to tell me which stamps. If this is stamped, it's stamped really well. Love the images. So now I have already pre-made little tickets I could use. And the envelope is really cool. I like the coloring on these. Sorry, my stubby finger now. And then this one has... Oh, look at this! Full of bingo cards! Very cool. Thank you! It's a great size. I'm going to guess that's a stamp. Because it's all the same numbers. Really cool. Thank you. These would make really great little journaling spots. And then she sent me a Little Davis Designs Tinkers and Treasures sti Stitched Leather Frame. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen this. That's really cool. Thank you. And then another little envelope. Oh, oh more tickets. Look at this. Oh, okay. This I'm pretty sure is a Tim Holtz stamp in two different sizes. Oh, and she stamped in two different colors for me. Thank you so much. See, now I have... I'm going to leave this right on my desk. That way, when I go to create something, I'll just grab them. I have several... Um, places where I stash things like this. Thank you, that was really sweet of you to do this. Love that. I think I have some this size little coin envelopes, maybe a little smaller. Oh, and look at this. Pretty die cuts. Are these uh, from the King Company? I don't recognize the images. Oh, maybe it is the travel one. See Peggy, you have all sorts of questions now to answer. Look at that great schooner. I think that's a schooner. I apologize if I got the boat talk wrong. Oh my gosh, I love the size of these envelopes. Okay, now I'm gonna have to make a bunch of cards in this that fit for these. Does anyone know? Can you mail these through the post office? I would imagine. It's probably the size of um, RSVP cards, or from like wedding RSVP cards. Road trip. Oh, how cool. Car Purcell. Oh, summer image. These are really cool. There are postcards on one side. Greetings from paradise. Drink the wild air. Really cool. Thank you. We're actually on vacation next week, so I don't know. I might send out some postcards. And then this is so sweet. She made a um, stick pin container with stick pins. And look, these two 
match perfectly to my True Blood Mini. So I'm going to poke them in a couple of different places because I think they, they will look really cool in there. The red and black. Thank you so much. Really cute. She recycled a little piece of styrofoam. No, a little... Maybe packaging material. Really well done. Look at that. With a crown. Very pretty. And then, the funny thing is, is a lot of people know that I love 6x6 paper. And I had seen in numerous hauls the Paula Dean paper that was at, I think, Michael's, whatever their dollar fifty spots. But I never, I haven't been to Michael's in, I can't remember, recall how long. And I never ended up getting them. But look, she she sent me all, I think all four of the ones that, that were available. Love, let's see. I don't think there's, they have different names. They just have different codes. But really pretty papers. Twelve sheets. Look at all the gorgeous hydrangeas on that one. Like a grandma's kitchen one. Really cool. Thank you so much. That was absolutely unexpected and really appreciated, but totally not necessary because you want something from me. It wasn't, you didn't need to send me anything. Not that I'm complaining because I love all this stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you for the beautiful card, for all the goodies, for all the handmade tags. Thank you again, Peggy. Really cool. Was that cork? That might be cork. Hmm. That's really cool. It's it's not it's thicker than chipboard. So um, I'll I'll include a link in the description to Peggy's YouTube channel. Stop by, say hello, tell her um, I sent you, and thank you again so much, Peggy. I can't wait to uh, get creating with some of these goodies that you've sent me. So. Totally going to keep all this stash on my desk. That way I, I reach for it the next time I go to create. Thanks for watching, everyone.